Welcome back to Wreck and Rule. Today we'll be going over the recent tournament we had just yesterday, but for you guys it was like three days ago, whatever. We'll be going over uh, some rounds, and then whatever else Brian wants to uh, talk out of his mouth about. Yeah. 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 Brian, to you, Frenchie. <laughs> First, thank you for the 17 guys that came to uh, the... I was about to say Star Championship. Can we say that? No. No. <laughs> it was not the Star Championship. It's not the thing. Although the prize was pretty high. It yeah, was. The stakes were high. The prize was, uh, how do you call that, the SDCC pack? SDCC slash Gen Con slash HST <laughs> pack. Well, so what is that pack, Joe? Oh, HTS, sorry. <laughs> HST Shop. Shop. Okay. I thought you were like spelling a curse word for it. <laughs> Cliff jumper, you just say it. Usually Tandem do. targeting <laughs> system and all out attack in one pack. Yes, yeah. and the insert. Don't forget about the insert. <laughs> so it goes on eBay for roughly 200 ish. Uh, 250 north, 200 north? Mm, recently 200. 200. Um, but I think if you break it up, you can sell it and get more than that. 50, 30, 100, 100. I think, um, I think Tandem goes for 50. Mm -hmm. I was valuing Tandem at 30 and all out of 50. And Cliff Jumper and Slipstream about 100 each. They Being might generous. get more by now. More by know. now? I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, so first place got that. Second place got a box. A box. Third and fourth got what? 12, 12 packs. packs. 12 packs, yes. And then... 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 6, 6, 6. Yeah. Yep. If you're going to Origins and they have packs of something and it says exclusive... <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> get it. I don't think they're going to, but they will have nobody, Siege as press. But support. nobody knew if... At SDCC or Gen Con, <clears throat> anything about it. They were like, hey, this is a pack. I'm like, okay, it's a pack. Nobody knew then that they knew now. I'm not saying that there's going to be there, but if it is there, it wouldn't be the worst idea. But yes, Siege is probably going to be there. Yes. I mean, it will for, be there. Maybe it, not for public consumption. Maybe they'll give out like one pack to people. I think, don't quote me, I want to say. If you say for purchase for the, the masses. No, no, no. Not for purchase, right. but for prize support. Yes. And I believe also that at 10 a.m., if I remember the interview correctly, um, at 10 a.m. they're going to do like turbo rounds where you get two siege packs. Enter that, get in line, enter that, yeah. get in line. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, our local store, the comic book store, Glassboro, New Jersey, they put it on. Um, Which is the hub for all of the Eastern Seaboard region's best and biggest turnouts in the history of the game. <laughs> 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 At Combiner Warriors on a Wednesday night, got what, 20... 24, I guess. 4, 25? 20 something. That was a lot. And a that wizard a rep lot. did stop by at the store. So, whoever that wizard rep was, swing on by back again. We'll hook you up. We'll teach you how to play the game. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin's like the manager, basically. Kevin yes. said that, like, not were, like the manager, basically, the manager. Kevin is the manager <laughs> at the store. Uh, he said Sorry, that, uh, like, they were talking to the, the wizard rep about how we do Transformers every week. And the wizard, wizard rep was like, what? Like, huh? Do they? Yeah, yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. it's like, this is it, man. It's here. All right, so really quick, we all played in it, um, along with our friends, too, who yep. have helped us out uh, with various stuff throughout the past couple months. So, Joe, what did you play? Grimlock, RC, Thrust, Orange, Death. Frenchie? Grimlock 1, excuse me. The good old Insecticons. Nothing much to say. <laughs> <laughs> so I played Rogue Squadron, Jeff Fire, RC, Fireflight, and Alpha Bravo swapped him in. Um, so Joe, you ended up going to top eight. I went to top eight, yes. Frenchie to top four. I did top four. And I was outside the bubble at number nine. <laughs> <laughs> so I did not get into the top eight. Yeah. Um, so so top four. We got the top four. What we're looking to do is we're going to kind of recap quickly... Mm -hmm. Uh, our rounds, and we give ourselves a two-minute timer to talk about <laughs> each round. I'm going to set it. We're going to stick to it. Uh, so, Joe, how about you begin first, round one? I'll only talk about my round one because it was very painful for me. So I was against Dinobots, mm -hmm. had him on the rope, Sludge was dead. What else is new? Grimlock about to die. He has ISF, brings back Sludge, heals Grimlock. Ugh. Botch is in attack with Grimlock. I finally kill his Grimlock. Have the game won, no problem. Next attack, he ISFs Grimlock, takes out both my guys. Round two, something, something, something. ISFs Grimlock again, does it again. Ugh, ISF. Ooh. I hate that card. You just, he's like, I got the you lose card. You lose. That's what I say. They should have bad ISF. 
Maybe one per deck? You do have to draw it, though. It was very painful, though. I, I was very upset. I'll make it a stock art. It could be stock art, I believe. Could be, then you can't play Volcanicus ever again. Oh, you can play Volcanicus. Get one shot at it. Mm. My Maybe. painful experience. My two minutes are up. I yield the rest of my time to the <laughs> senator from New Jersey. <laughs> you actually did a minute, Joe. Not bad. Uh, Frenchie, round one. No, you too. You Me? Go. Okay. Uh, so I played um, uh, my friend actually since high school, Joe Frieda, or elementary school actually, Joe Frieda. He was playing kind of the janky card type thing where it was uh, Dead End, it was Drag Strip, it was Prowl 1, and Wheeljack also. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very mixed orange and blue. Um, had some like ready for actions in there to get some additional untaps. Um, game one, he won. Game two, I won. Game three, um, I made a really boneheaded mistake where he had a force field on a character. I had RC loaded up with um, Reckless Charge with Grenade Launcher. And I swung into the only character available, which is the one that had uh, force field, just because I kind of stopped paying attention to the game state for a little bit. Um, <laughs> didn't ask to take it back when I realized that uh, after I put the launcher down, after I played Reckless Charge, uh, just to punish myself to kind of stick with the game state a little bit better and not get distracted trying to farm for Transformers Earth Wars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was it was close. I went to that game three. Um, and then even... I think Cars is the trickiest matchup I've seen so far for that deck because I just can't focus down on one heavy enough. Oh, I'm done on. with 40 seconds left to go. French... Round one. I played Celticons and I did all of, of Orange Flip. Done. No, just kidding. <laughs> when did you play this? <laughs> so, first, I play against uh, Nick. Uh, he played a Grapple, Fame War, and a Slipstream deck, uh, which I believe is, for what I've seen from what we have did with for Alex Brock, um, I think it's one of the best Grapple deck I have seen. I almost lose to it. <laughs> so me going in Secticos against a grapple then I feel like I almost lose, uh, lost it. It was tough. Uh, game 3 though I managed to did something really good uh, that flipped me the game quite quickly. Uh, so I managed to get round 2 with a win. Round 2 I played against the Dinobots and uh, in that tournament I played actually round 2 Dinobots. One. Round one? You're jumping the gun, French. Round one only so far. Round one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, anyway. French, round two. <laughs> Not really, I don't remember my round two. Anyways, I'm going to probably uh, put out an article uh, talking more in depth for uh, my uh, experience at the tournament, so check out for that. But there's one thing I want you to guys to pay attention for, the one that goes to origin. All right, round three. Write I this down. <laughs> round three, for what's that? <laughs> <laughs> The format is gone. No, stop. <laughs> we'll come back it's, to you. It's <laughs> Hold sure? All right, okay. Yes. I can, I can we, we have a structure, right? Back. Yes. But Stay in your lane. <laughs> okay. You sure you want... All right, okay, that's fine. I, I, I talk that uh, some times later on. When we get to round three. <laughs> yes. Do you want to get there? We're going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I get to. All right, you guys uh, think about what I did wrong, right? So I play against Stefan. Against, uh, what round so, is this? It was round three. No! What? 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 <laughs> People at home, we're sorry. French, you're too bizarre. <laughs> okay. Move on, move on, if you guys. I, I, I talk it into, uh, into the article, but that's something that you guys need to pay attention. And I need to pay attention even more. Okay. So, yeah. Me, round two. Round two, I played Alphonsus of Team oh, Greylock. Oh, you want to do it? I didn't understand. <laughs> Round two, played against Alphonsus of Team Greylock. Uh, they're from up in North Jersey. Um, good dude, he was playing Metroplex. Um, he won the role, and he decided that he was going to go first, which surprised me a little bit, because um, I figured he maybe wanted to build up Metroplex. I very quickly won that first game. Um, I was able to just get a lot of my Pierce kind of into play. Um, I don't think he saw his uh, escape routes to flip back and get the little guys out. Um, and then get back to, to robot mode. He did not get the Metroplex trigger often or at all that game. Um, but then, <clears throat> you 
Yeah, it, it was it was over like really quick that first game. Uh, game two though, he pulled off the win. Um, I didn't see a lot of my stronger Pierce effects, and then when I did, he was able to knock off the jet pack from Jetfire, which slowed me down a little bit. Get wrecked. Yeah. Um, and then round three. Round three, sorry, round two was really close. I think it was actually his little guys that finished off my last character. Round three, um, at that point I had lost. I had him go first again just because I wanted to try to not have him get the effect off and I wanted him to go into Bravo early, not Bravo, Firefly early. Um, and I just, I couldn't get damage out fast enough onto him. It's my round two. What's the time? 20 seconds left. I believe my <clears throat> round two was uh, was Frida as well with the four cars. Uh, he didn't make any mistakes. It was just Grimlock being Grimlock. He didn't get any untaps against me. There's nothing positive or negative to say. Just, what just did you the get? Dice. What did you go against? Joe Frida. Okay. The four cars. I didn't see anything negative or <clears throat> noteworthy. It was just cards flipping. Yeah, four cars too is meaning that the... Characters have less lives too, so you probably overkill one and then yeah. kill another one right away. RC goes into one of the babies and they have like two health left, and then it's like just Grimlock thrust murder, and then say like, wee. Yeah, that's that's tough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My round three, I don't remember who I played. Wait, round two? <laughs> no, we went this way for round one, and this way for round two. We go back to round three. He didn't do round two. I thought he. That's the. What were you talking about? I didn't understand what you guys wanted to do because, like, you know, English is not Continue. my first language. It's Continue. my third language. <laughs> Continue. Round two, French. <laughs> Round two, I went against Alan Dinobots. <coughs> and um, I didn't feel comfortable. Like, uh, I think some people say that Insecticos is better than Dinobots. I'd say no. Because, again, for character wide, uh, you got, uh, if you manage to, like, one shot someone with. Um, uh, Grimlock, you will, you, you will basically kill someone else. And that sucks uh, for a four character wide against Dinobots. But uh, he did a mistake twice. And uh, that mistake was to actually uh, going with Grimlock in the second attack, not the third attack. So he did that uh, on the first, no, second game, third game. The first game I couldn't win it because he got ISF. That too. That card, you play Insecticons against Dinobots, someone hi has ISF, you win the game. That's it. Uh, there's no left or right or whatever. It's like, you play ISF, you play a weapon on Grimlock, and then you're going to kill whatever is left. Or, I, I got the ISF, I will win the game. It's, it's, it feels... It doesn't feel like a good matchup I like to appreciate. But uh, I will talk later on, on about the second game of the Dinobots. Uh, I found something that might be interesting, but yeah, that was it. I just won that game because of that mistake of going with Grimlock's uh, second attack. Did you ever <coughs> use Shrapnel's scrap a character, sacrifice uh, a character ability to tap the <coughs> I had the choice of doing this uh, in the second game uh, where I could have tapped Grimlock and send out Ransack and and um, uh, Barrage we, in the art mode uh, form because they didn't flip, right? Um, it was not a good point at that time because I didn't have like a weapon like Power Punch and Supercharge. If I had it, then I would have probably killed it. If not, then that's probably not good. I, oh. I asked you a question. Done. <laughs> Extension Done. question. It's like a debate. <laughs> um, I feel that people don't Utilize the shrapnel sacrifice to tap somebody down. Oh, yeah, enough. sure, sure, sure. And the other one is also using Peaceful Tyranny. Um, let's say you have two mm -hmm. characters. Um, let's say they are both, uh, your opponent is all tapped out and you have two characters left, right? Uh, you can use Peaceful Tyranny, sacrifice one of your character. If you know, for example, if I have Barrage and I know both my, uh, my opponent's character is almost dead, I will sack one of my characters, even if it's full health, send Barrage into one to kill them, untap, and have another turn to kill with the other character. And that's one of the better play that you can 
keep on going with the safety cars. Like the next level will be to like actually do that consistently or bring that uh, situation more often so that you can actually pull that off. But scrap not too, yes. Yeah. Or, yeah, <clears throat> you kill a character that Grimlock's about to kill anyway, but mm -hmm. you limit that overkill so you don't have to kill two characters. In one that go. is correct. Yeah. Uh, that was round two, right? Mm -hmm. uh, round three, I was 0 and 2, so I got the buy. I went outside, enjoyed the weather a little bit. Uh, <laughs> there's a little diner next door. The woman asked me what my Transformers lunchbox was for. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to explain the game to her. She was about probably late 50s. Did you... Didn't quite understand. Oh. I did give her your <clears throat> number, though, French. Oh. I hate that 50s. What, what? That was my <laughs> round three. I forgot my round three or my round four. I forgot which one it was. Now, remember that round four. <coughs> Give me the list. Maybe I'll come, I'll come back to me. You remember your round three? You go first, then. Yeah, so round three, I went against... Give me a second. I had it in my mind. Um, God. What was the list? What was the team? Uh, that's the question. I had it in my mind. I know what round four and five is. Round three was against Alan. No, Alan was the Dinobots. Uh, <clears throat> so Chris played Optimus and Shockwave. There were two aerial bots. There were one Sentinel player, I think. Hot Wheels. <clears throat> Joe's round one. Joe's oh. round two. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stefan. <laughs> That's the infamous round three. I'm going to get Stefan. Three, five, three. So, all right. I didn't know that you guys wanted to just actually do two minutes for each round. I thought you were just wanted to do two minutes for the whole tournament. So I'm going to explain what... <laughs> Good guy. <God. laughs> I'm going to explain what is uh, that issue that... I think you guys need to pay attention when if you go to Origin. Alright, uh, I don't know if I told you both, so you can pay attention and see what I did wrong. And don't say it to uh, ask you what I did wrong, okay? Don't answer the question? Not yet. Uh, okay. I'll, ask you, I'll ask you after the story. I played you! In round four. <laughs> I now remember my round three. So round three. I play against Stefan. Stefan plays uh, Superion and I play Bugs. And usually that is a war of attrition. Like, uh, uh, I don't want. Superion wants to go late so that he can pull up those incremental damages and then kill when he combined. And I want to kill as quickly as possible before they can reach a point where I'm going to just get smashed like a bug. Uh, so I had in my hand in my first game. Three regular charge, regular, reg, ugh, regular charge, and uh, one, I uh, one shot, ten one shot four. Is that the correct one? <laughs> <What's happening? laughs> so that was my three cards, <coughs> and uh, each of these cards is actually helping me to do more damages for the superman, but also kill me back with those three damages, right? Um, in one round. I actually managed to set up a plan where I could have killed well two of the uh, of this character if I got lucky. Uh, the first one was to actually use one shot four, one shot ten against uh, the brave guy. I don't remember his name. Brave guy, firefly. Firefly. So <coughs> if I only have one half left, I just need to kill it so I can go to another one. Uh, the one has zero defense. Uh, Air raid. Yeah, and I could have played Reckless Charge and then hope for the best and try to kill it. And I did it. I actually played one shot, uh, stand, one shot four, killed the, uh, the Fire Flight, played Reckless Charge on my, uh, I think it was uh, Scrap No, swing, swing at nine, did 11, managed to actually kill it. It only fit two blue. And that was great. Managed to take out two characters, and then next turn I was like, "All right, I got another one." Of one shot and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> so my round three. So oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Let if we're not going to stick to the time constraints, why have the time constraints? People no, at think... home, if you've been paying attention, I know the mistake. Yes. Do go... you know the mistake? Joe wasn't paying attention, so no, Joe not, does not, not, not hear any of that. But the idea was like, I saw I had another one reckless charge and say, doing none damage is too much. Wait, doing none damage is too much. That's when I actually scooped the game. And Stefan didn't play, didn't catch it either. I just played two actions. He played one shot stand and reckless in the same turn. And that's that's something that you you guys who go to origin has to pay more attention. Because we got so Don't cheat. Yes. <laughs> so we got so we got so used to be like when you're in pressure and then you just wanna like go fast and also I'm a slow player, uh, I tend to think a lot because it's I actually get, was getting sick damages, but I didn't pay attention either, either that I actually paid two action. Pay attention. It's not because like your opponent plays two cards that it's allowed. Right? You yielded your time to him earlier. That's why I like getting cards <coughs> out of people's hands. It reduces the amount of time they take to take their turns. That's the best Got no cards to... in your hand. Got no decisions to make. Yes. My round three was uh, Henry Rico from Team Greylock. He's playing Sentinels. Uh, orange. He got me game one real good. <clears throat> Great flips. I had trash flips. And then I, I clawed my way back. Uh, the only error I think he made, um, one turn he espionaged me, called orange, obviously. I had Matrix rollout, rollout. And I had Grimlock in bot mode and thrust untapped. Um, he also didn't have, he also had a flip for Mirage still. So when he, he chose espionage and orange, he could have got both rollouts. Instead, he chose the Matrix. And then he flipped and got one rollout, I think, or he did something else, whatever it was. He just didn't get both rollouts. So on my turn, rollout is a supercharge for Grimlock. I flip him back over and then murder people. He didn't combine at all. I don't know if he had... Um, he did not run the Enigma. That's why he did not combine. <laughs> okay. Fair. Um, nothing else to report there, really. It was an orange race. Static laser of Ironhide on Ironhide hurts. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. uh, Thrust does clean up games once in a while. He does do five attack on the other side. FYI. Doesn't mm -hmm. have any defense on the other side, right? One, but not really. At that point, it's too late. <clears throat> Minute and thirty seconds, Joe. Not bad. I'll try to get my point across without without filler. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't yield the rest of my time. So we're, gonna, <laughs> so we're gonna sit in silence. <laughs> I try to do quick for the next one. All right. Round four. You fast. All right. I play against Joe. Joe tried to kill me. I killed him first. Let's well, talk simultaneously. <laughs> okay. I played Frenchy round four. I got bugged. <laughs> he got I died. Bugged. I'm done. I like the way it actually tried to kill me quickly. You actually... Uh, uh, I tried RC thrust on turn one. Yes, RC thrust on turn one. He wanted to flip that double ranger so he can kill actually scrap now in one turn. <laughs> but he has to pull up the double rangers and you can't. <laughs> Brian's like, how is that possible? No, I'm just thinking you lose RC at that point, right? Yeah, and Grimlock, just, Grimlock and Thrust just murder the rest of the bugs. Yeah, but Thrust is tapped already. So then you have... They have to waste at least one to two attacks on RC. If probably they take one. Two, probably one. If they take two attacks on RC, they probably lose that game. That's not actually... But then the remaining right. two characters the kill Grimlock. Better kill Grimlock. If they don't, <clears throat> then they really lose. I can actually kill RC in one shot if I have either uh, the grenade launcher or the power punch on kickback. Yes. yes probably. <laughs> I do have blues in there. I added blues. Yeah. So, and that's... That leads you to a dangerous position because, like, you go. If you don't kill uh, Scrapnel, I send. Uh, oh, then I lose the final kill, Scrapnel. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's I, no way. I send kickback. Uh, no, uh, kickback, kickback, kill, might kill um, RC in one turn. That, and then you send Grimlock, and Grimlock is going to fast three attacks. Yeah, that's why I did that. I knew I was going to lose that game. If I don't do something super duper stupid aggressive, I'm going to lose no matter what. You're going to um, flip Grimlock, yeah. and then I'm going to do nothing. Or you're going to flip our, our scrap and I'm going to do nothing and nothing's going to get accomplished. I, I need to get out in front or else it's, there's no point. That was the quickest game. I think we were done like less than <coughs> Yeah, Walter was like, yeah, I lost. He's like, 
was like, was that the best of three? I'm like, if you want to call it that, yeah. <laughs> it was the best of something. Something happened. We beat you, Brian. <laughs> you guys took two minutes on the dot. Actually, Basically. 159, because by the time it came out of your mouth, that finished. We still have two minutes left. My round four. <gasps> we do. <laughs> <laughs> My round four, another local guy named Chris playing um, OPBL and Shockwave. Which when I saw it, I kind of like did this inner like, oh, because you've played it a ton mm, against yeah, me. Well, well, and it's well, 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 punishing. Well. However, his deck is very different than Joe's. Like it, it's focused a lot more on trying to get the shockwave triggers off. Um, like I remember there, well, no, but to a point where I feel that it lessens like Prime's ability to do stuff. It also felt like every time that he flipped out to attack with Prime, um, he flipped out upgrades rather than action, so he couldn't do stuff. A lot of orange, a lot of white. I'm just, you could... I you, thought you had a point to make. Um, <laughs> mine's heavy blue and less white. So I, I did get a little bit lucky where I got a lot of my, like, reckless charges, my grenade launchers, so RC was swinging out for a lot. I got jetpack onto jetfire, so he was also doing pierce, so just I could focus down one of the two really fast and then just dog pile the remaining guy. Um, and I was <clears throat> able to kind of control control the battle by swinging out my little guys, either Fire Flight or um, Alpha Bravo to take the big hits. Mm. Um, and he managed to not one-shot Fire Flight with Prime a few times, so that helped him. Uh, that game was on camera for Stefan. Mm -hmm. I was kind of like jittery for some reason. <laughs> so I'm sure I was making mistakes. He has a 60 way. card deck. <clears throat> I, Does he? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that a magic thing? 60 cards? Yeah. Yes. And that that's the guy I see. <clears throat> he, he was sitting sitting across us mm -hmm. when I was regi registering the deck. Yeah, he'd been there for... He and Joe are buddies with Greg. I like how he did the leap well, of faith with the star. So yeah. <laughs> Greg is brothers with Joe, but they, they can't come Wednesdays. They do some other gaming things. Because they don't like you. Mike, 60 car. They wow. only hit weekend events, so they, they've been events. around for other stuff. But mm -hmm. for us, like more casual and stuff. How does it Release feel? Release events. Yeah. How does it feel to go against uh, Battlefield Legend? Because I, nobody, I'm not. <coughs> that was the only one in the tournament, by the way. Yes. For me, I don't mind it with my list because I can, like, with the peers from RC. I can get pierced with Bravo. I can get pierced with um, Jetfire. Like I can kill Prime pretty quick. Yeah, it doesn't feel oppressive to actually go against it. And I That's can control early on. Like I can save RC and Jetfire. Yeah. Especially in a, a two character, if they've got Prime and just one other character, I can be for damn sure that they're not going for RC or Jetfire in that first mm -hmm. round. Mm -hmm. And then second round, you know, Fire Flight's probably dead at that point. Let's dangle out Bravo first. Have mm -hmm. fun with that. Or um, I can get a force field onto Jetfire and soak up the hit with that if they don't have <coughs> Vaporize or Bashing Shield. So both of you, uh, do you think that actually Battlefield Legend is over powerful now? Because I remember end of Wave 1, early Wave 2, we were like, Battlefield Legend is broken. And now, <coughs> not think, seeing it anywhere. I think I mean, still, at least in no better. Maybe just in our area, we're kind of bored looking at it. Yeah. I think that's it. It's also why there were only two Bugs players yesterday. Yeah, did you get ball of it? <laughs> yeah, like people are past it. It's like we get it. We know they're, they're <clears throat> orange and amazing. I feel Origins, though, there will be a lot of Bugs. There yeah. will be a lot of OPBL. Yeah, do something. the tried and true methods. <clears throat> I wonder if OPBL is going to do well in uh, Origin. I'd say no. I hope they do some sort of deck list type of thing like, like Wreck and Rule did at Packs Unplugged, where, yo, day one it was this, day two it was this, day three, so on and so forth. That'd I think be it's nice going to be Pastimes, or possibly... I mean, they didn't... <coughs> pastimes didn't do it. Sorry, Pastimes. They didn't do it for Packs Unplugged. They didn't do Decklist either, but they're going to do that for Origins. They okay. Will. That's and they're going to post it. That's maybe what John said, that he says, does anyone know a good website for posting Decklist? I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's going to be very really interesting. Okay, John, I'm watching you, John. <laughs> That's actually going to be interesting to see how the Decklist is going to evolve in just three days. And I hope they don't post it until after the event is over. Just like what Destiny is starting to do. I don't like that people... <clears throat> we didn't do that. We didn't do it until the end. Mm -hmm. 
uh, except we saw, I was the only one that was writing them all down. I don't want to see day one of Origin. It's like, yo, there's 36 bugs, 50, blah, 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 blah. that way day two, people are like, okay, I'm expecting this. Let me play this instead. I'd rather just wait till the end, keep all the decks secret, and then Monday morning, this is what happened. Well, you can, you can, <coughs> well, yeah, well, you can do it anyways if you walk what around. Mean, we can. It, the, it was easy at PAX Unplugged. There was one... One oh, table. that is true, yes. There was like I'm hoping Orange is going to be like, yeah. uh, I can't do this. That is true. That is true. It could be, I, I, like, it's it's relatively short notice. We knew there was going to be something there, right? But people, they may not have jumped on the gun because right. although it was cool to have it at, like, PAX East and things like that, the only prizes were PAX. Right. Like, they didn't mm-hmm. even have the uncut sheets for that. So I know I wasn't feeling, like, overly compelled to get to PAX East for that reason. Um, but with the fact that like they've got this new system going on, it could be either like explosion because <coughs> everybody wants to go, or it could be like people just couldn't make it work on that short notice. So we'll see. I actually want. Uh, I'm actually from the opposite side. I would love to actually see how much uh, of the players play certain type, type of deck. Um, I'd rather have something that is evolving quickly than something that is starting. <coughs> well. Now that I said it, I want to see the deck list. It's really not going to matter because it'll be dead or changed in two weeks anyway. Because it'll way through a launch. Yeah, true. So true. whatever everyone's playing at Origins is like, that's, <coughs> that's it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, so round five. I'll go first. I played against Bugs. I played Ken. Mm-hmm. He was playing Bugs. Um, he won very quickly game one. Cause he, he had ISF twice, so... This is like nothing I can do. That's what happened at me. Pax, uh, Pax, uh, Pax plug. Like go to final, go against bugs, two ISF in hand. Yeah, I'm sure. Has anyone ever <coughs> won a game against someone that has two ISF? In hand? ISF times two. That's my point. It's like you ISF play that card banned. twice, you win. Yes. You should. You should. You should have banned that card. Okay, swap part two because it's really strong. But like ISF is going to open. It's not rewarding. It's like you draw the card, you win. There's no good play behind it. You have to draw it, though. And it's, I mean, yes. It's like, not a skill. <laughs> you, it's but you bugs. It doesn't matter which bug you kill. They're all strong as hell. It doesn't matter which Dinobot you kill. They're all strong as hell. <laughs> yes. But like, it's going to stick out in your mind the moments where somebody pulls ISF and then like it bones you over. You don't know it's in their hand. But what doesn't stick out in your mind is the time the you turns. It. Well, no. The turns where the, the other, like the bugs player, the Dinobot player... They don't see ISF, and then you end up winning. Like oh, oh, that I doesn't mean, stick I'm out as much. I'm super happy when I go against Dinobot <coughs> and they flip ISF on that attack of defense. Right, that's amazing. I love it. Right, but, but you that's, also that's, you're never sure if they have it in hand. Right, is the thing. Unless you see oh, three in the scrap. That's so you sort of like you have to be. You're, you're kind of keeping that in your mind as you play bugs. Like, okay, I can kill this bug. But Why do you stop this, it? There's no system reboot and, and disrupt the veterans. Is that it? Disrupt that's the veterans. Yes. Yeah. That's the tutorial. And you don't want to play system reboot because you can actually let, uh, <coughs> draw cards, especially. I would only play it if I saw two in their scrap or, or something, and there was like, even then they might throw it. No, I don't know if it's in their hand. It's not. It's not good. Even if there's like, let's say, five cards in the in the in the in the deck, and you saw that there's two ISF in the in in the. Uh, in it's fifty fifty. The guy. <coughs> it's bad. I don't like it. It's hard. I'm saying that's the only way to get someone's cards out of their hand. Yeah. Disarm yeah. barrage. Sentinels. Mirage. Dive bomb if you get lucky on the guess. Lucky dive bomb. That's it. There's nothing much. It's it's I, that's the fact that there's no peep on it make it also very hard to hit. And if you're playing Predacons, you're not waiting late in the game. They're gonna either kill him first. You're gonna do it first. Mirage is gonna do the same thing. Mirage is gonna flip first turn. Also, when you start the <coughs> game and you have Ice in hand, you feel good. You f- I don't know if I want it in my hand opening hand. I'd rather get it like mid, drawn to mid, mid to second or third. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. nice knowing it's sitting there. Hopefully your opponent can't disrupt it. Turn, turn two, I actually, uh, turn two, I actually did the... I forgot to set the timer. <laughs> turn two, I actually did that trick where I used Peaceful Tyranny uh, because I was thinking that Alan got the ISF. He did got the ISF. I managed to kill it right on time. Speaking of which, too, the other thing that popped in my head playing against Ken is there were at least two moments I can remember where I thought to myself, all right, if he does the shrapnel tap down mm-hmm. and he puts RC off the board or if he puts um, Jeffire off the board before he can attack with him, like I, there's no way I come back with it. But he didn't end up doing that. 
So, again, I know I said it before, but I think that Bugs players maybe don't utilize that. It's tough. It's tough. It's like when you flip, the other characters are not, are not flipped. And that's, uh, that's where you're like, you, do you think that you have enough damages to go through? And that's tough. It's, uh, it's, it's a tough decision to make. But sure, it's high risk, high reward. And I believe that any box player has to go in that territory to actually edge over mm -hmm. other stuff. Yeah. All right, Joe. Round My five. round five was against Robert Haidt. Came with his friend from Eastern PA-ish area, Western, C Central. Um, Nemesis Prime, Thundercracker, Flame War. Uh, I've seen it a couple times before. Um, I got just really lucky with all my Grimlock spillovers. And he was heavy blue, so he wasn't pushing too much damage. Too many wasted attacks on RC and Grimlock. Not enough orange. By the time he got Nemesis powered up, it was too late. My biggest attack was uh, 24 attack with Grimlock. Uh, killed Flame War, made him spill over 20 to Nemesis. That was, <coughs> I was in that game. Sorry, sorry, Rob. Sorry about that. What a jerk. So you end up 3-2? I end up 3-2. What, what did you end up with? 3-2, uh, but one of those was a bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so round three, I went against Cal. And that was the second surveillance for the day. Uh, so Cal and Joe, the day before, trained a lot. And Cal was actually, on Friday, going for... Metroplex, but you made yeah. him. You made him switch to. <laughs> he had fun practicing with, but uh, Superior, he was on top of his game. Yes, so he was pretty confident going against uh, against Ka and uh, Ka going against me. And when I saw him, I was actually like, pretty confident about myself too. But then I remember that he was playing Superior, and I was like, freak, freak. <laughs> 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 and um, I actually made him run for the money. He was, the first game I actually misplayed uh, on the last attack, not two last attack, I choose to put the power punch instead of the flamethrower on my last guy. Um, he only had super young, and I know that I could have without one attack, uh, but he had this, the, how do you call that, the um, spying gear, and I have one machine shell in, in my hand, so I was like, all right, do I want to play Power Punch, Frame Tower, or bashing, uh, bashing Gear. And I choose to play Power Punch because I thought I could have put a little bit more damage. It was wrong. I should have played Frame Tower, not expecting any damage, and then second turn, play Bashing Shield, take it out, and then attack. If I did it, I would actually won the game. So that was perfect, uh, game one. Second game, it just like outvalued me. That's just, it's just tough to like try to kill uh, Serpent in with box. Like, it takes so much blue. Uh, if you waste two attacks on two attacks or three attacks on one of the uh, deck character, it's done. Like you're not going to come back from that. It's a really good mid range deck. Yeah, that's it. And I finished with three two, losing to Stefan and Carl. Uh, they both ranked pretty high after the round of Swiss. I ranked five after that. So top eight was RJ with. Hot Wheels, mm -hmm. uh, Robert with Nemesis, Slendercracker, Flame War, Frenchie U with Bugs, mm -hmm. Joe playing the four cars, Prowl, Wheeljack, Dead End, and Dragstrip, Clayton with Dinobots, Joe with Grimlock, Thrust, and RC, uh, Kyle with Superion, and then Stefan with Superion. Mm -hmm. uh, the only two Superions to show up both made top four. So during top eight, I went to go see Godzilla. <laughs> so, How was it? <laughs> really good. I recommend it. Uh, Joe, okay. your first in top eight was? Uh, my first and last was RJ, the champion. <laughs> uh, he carded me to death. Just Orange car, 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 beep, beep. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't. Oh, uh, what was it? Yeah, uh, one of the games against him. Yeah, the first game in top eight. Uh, I killed his B on the first attack with, I went Grimlock Thrust right into it. And I did, uh, <laughs> I think I did like 15 damage or something right on the dot. And there Wait, was no spillover. Wow. So like, we stopped playing any car. <clears throat> no, no, no. It was, uh, had to be a grenade launcher or something. No, no. Uh, he went first or I went first. I went first with RC. 
Maybe I went first with RC, and I did like three to B. Six, ten. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I went first, and I was just like, whatever. I flipped Grimlock and thrust, and just went for it. Six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten, eleven. Maybe I got the white in there. So Maybe it's the oranges. So it's twelve attacks, right? Uh, B is fourteen. Two defenses. Maybe I attacked with RC first, and then he did something with B. And then I just mopped up. It was like, B was dead before like, people were still shuffling, whatever. It was just... And then he still won that game anyway. <laughs> I was like, did that just happen? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, it was... Bye. And then... Did he, did he try to... Uh, did he pull out the prow uh, ball two to every one and just like try to win you over? No. He, you he didn't have to do that. It was just like Wheeljack just punching really hard and me not defending yeah. well. I think I got some turns where I didn't play any upgrades and actions or whatever. Like, it was always like one, not the other. Mm -mm. I just... Can do it, Brian. If you were playing Joe's deck, plus you... Grimlock is hard to spill over with those cards with the big health. <clears throat> yeah, 13, 14, he's not doing that very effectively. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like a 14, uh, 14, 13, it's, yeah. it's a tough piece to actually chew through it. Um, if you were playing Joe's deck and you were going first, would you actually attack with RC without any upgrade and anything first? What do you think about that? So, I haven't played that. I don't think I've used Thrust at all. No, I have. I'm kidding. It's in a different type of deck, though. Um, I think I... My first play, probably, and not having played it, just theorizing here, would be to send Thrust out first. Let him soak the attack. All right, but Thrust you, will, will die. And yeah. then, like, the deck doesn't really have that panache. What's but, his health? 11? 11, yeah. 11 with Bugs three will, Anything defense. will murder him. Three defense isn't terrible. Right, it's yeah, like but two bug attacks, maybe. But one. you don't do but the the actual issue is that you don't use first ability. Do you run ready for action? No. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. That that's the that's the stuff. It's like knowing that RC is only one defense and nine health, sending RC first turn. Yeah, I don't care if she does. Like, that's why I do that. That's the <coughs> yeah, that's the idea. I try to like show my opponent like, hey, look at RC, you wanna get her? <laughs> Wow. Everyone's like, ooh, RC, what? Kill her quick. Yep, yep, yep. And the best one, she defends for like two. <clears throat> They're like, ah, uh, nine attack. I'm like, ah, uh, defend, defend. That's just crap. It's wasting Actually, defend. yeah. So That's painful. I, th I think it's actually a good idea. Uh, it's something that... Depends we... on the matchup, too. Huh? Depends on the matchup. Sometimes I won't send her first. I'll send Grimlock first. If I see a heavy blue deck... Yeah. They're not going to cut through Grimlock, even if they have three or four characters. It's yeah. too much blue. Correct. That way I get an RC thrust turn, and that's painful. Now they're like, oh my god, who do I tap? Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six minimum attack. Uh, six minimum pierce. Yep. I play one upgrade, one action, I'll kill anyone on the board. Yep. Murdered. So they got to be very careful if they see Grimlock attack first. They're like, who do I want to die next? <laughs> <laughs> that's so glass kind of. But what character I, do I not care about right now? I like actually sending RC first, because like the opponent only have one card to play to try to kill RC on one shot. But usually it's enough. Usually? Nine times out of ten, she dies. Yeah. This happens to do ten damage. Uh, or eleven damage. No, ten damage. No, because I have blues in there. Yep. People are, people were doing that, and they're like, I'm like, oh, I got one blue. Like, yeah, she's an eight. <laughs> and they're like, ugh. <laughs> so I have to waste one more attack going in there if they don't have, like, a zap or something. Yeah. But she usually dies that turn. I get one attack out of her, that's all. Yep, yep. If I get two attacks with her, they're doing something wrong. Bad news. French. And, and plus, when I tap down fast enough... <laughs> They lose their flips, and I get to go first again next turn. Like, and now I have a shot of wherever I want. I got free reign. Who wants the... Who goes? <laughs> I can't hide anyone. I like it. That's pretty cool. I yield my time. French, Tabi. Uh, when against Clayton, uh, against Dinobots again. Uh, so, here's a nice trick for you guys that are going to play bugs against Dinobots. If you go first... No, if you're not going first, wait, do you go first or do you want to go first? If you're not going first, uh, and you're going second, the first character that you sh should send out is actually Kickback. And now people are saying, what? <laughs> uh, the idea is, if you send Kickback out, you're going to do the damages, they are going to send the second character to try to kill uh, Kickback, and usually they will. And if they kill Kickback, you send out Scrapnel, and if you send out Scrapnel, that on the other side, Grimlock is out. Okay, <clears throat> I see what you're saying. Yep. It's like, um, they try to kill Kickback, 
you flip kick back, you send kick back out. Kick back is going to die on the third attack, uh, on their second attack. Your second attack, you flip Scrapno, you send Scrapno to whatever it, uh, is out, and Grimlock is like out. Like it, they they cannot do the other spell with like Grimlock. So that that feels great. Uh, I actually set up. So I played that on camera. You guys can actually watch it to S. Akuma, right? Mm -hmm. I think some numbers in there, but if you search, I think if you search S. Akuma, yeah, it and, should pop up. And S. Akuma Transformers, you should probably see it. Mm -hmm. I play mm -hmm. awfully. It's gonna probably take a few days to get there. He hasn't uploaded it yet, but yeah, I actually <coughs> play awfully slow in that game, and I hope I didn't misplay anything like I did with Stefan. Uh, the yeah, I just realized that if you set it up right, you can actually shut down um, Grimlock and. In the third match against Clayton, uh, he re it knew the trick and uh, it tried to send out uh, Grimlock on the second attack, and that was still bad because after that I could actually spill over uh, on Grimlock, and it was really bad. Idea is to not kill uh, Sludge. You don't want them to get ISF. Like you want them to like get close to be dead, but if you don't uh, commit, you you're going to be fine. That's it. And then you had... Didn't you get the top four? Yes, I actually won the game. I can't talk anymore. <coughs> I didn't make it that far. Yeah. Uh, too far, we went against Stefan. I was telling the, uh, on the video. Um, so, yeah. Just got up by Stefan. Stefan played a really good game. Um, the game I played against Ka was closer than what I played with Stefan. I tried to actually do that kickback uh, going first uh, on um, one of his character, the one that has tough two. It was a huge mistake. I <laughs> didn't do any damages. Uh, I tried to get the value out there and see if I can one shot some of the character, but that was pretty bad overall. It's a tough matchup. I need to like play more and more, have more reps to find some way because I'm pretty sure that Bugs is below Super Blue. It's just, it's just strong. <laughs> and yep, that was my first Plus match. They can, deal out, they can deal out um, damage without, without attack. Oh yeah, like uh, Maxmanship. Uh, you will see in the matchup that I actually try to keep my Bugs on the out mode most of the time. Uh, because I didn't want them to get max match it. Um, well, still, Stefan was the, did it to RJ in one of the games. Was it you? Or was it RJ? Uh, you. You had scrap. It was like one health or whatever. You had you had to go through two attacks. And he was like, no, I'll arm hovercraft, march with chip, and then kill you. Yep. It was like... I felt bad. Okay, that's... Bye-bye. That's, <laughs> that was like the perfect st uh, stuff to kill uh, scrap Uh That was tough. But, yeah, it's... If if Scrapno was the was a, Scrapno on the other side is actually pretty good because he got three uh, three defenses like the uh, the the IO bots cannot actually go do much 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 damage to uh, unless they have Pierce somehow yes yeah. which uh, you got that with Alpha Bravo <coughs> but uh, yeah that was pretty much it it's like a matchup that needs to be repeated again and again and again so I can find something as of now I'm like Super is way better than. Is it because? And I finished top four. And then after that, RJ played against Stefan. And I actually didn't think that RJ. And that was wasn't recorded. What? That match wasn't recorded. <laughs> it never had the course. To translate, <laughs> the match was not recorded. Apparently, they forgot to hit record. Okay. Yeah. That was. I would. I actually would have loved to like see that match again. Because I didn't expect it, RJ to pull it off. When the game three, too. Yeah, it was game two. With the last possible attack or whatever. Mm -mm -mm. And by the way, class act RJ. Uh, was it before the game? He was before the game. It. Okay. Yep. So RJ had the SDCC pack, so he he offered it to Stefan, um, just before the went into it. And yeah. uh, I guess RJ probably wants the store credit to get um, siege, but still, I mean, you know, you could easily sell it for twice. Twice that again, like RJ, just super Four nice. Time. Yeah, yep. super nice guy. Props to RJ. Likes dogs. <laughs> good 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 Which, by the way, Joe does not like dogs. That's not what I said. That tells you a lot about Joe. <laughs> not what I said. 
Joe, do you like dogs? A little bit. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bother me. I can do without them, though. I prefer cats. We did pretty good that weekend. We got Carl, we got RJ, we got Joe, and I got to the top eight. Too. Yeah, four of our playgroup got top eight. <clears throat> Kevin had a rough time, and you too. I was on the bubble. Yeah. If I had played better that first game, could have gotten it. Yep. Or if your opponents had won more games. Oh, yeah. Because or that. Yeah. I mean, I played Joe. Joe made top eight. I'm uh, saying if you would have played like Stefan and Kyle, you would have probably got in. That's I got what you. I did. <laughs> yeah, I could have squeezed in there. Yep. I mean, it was good. Um, I was happy with the turnout. Um, I think I was the highest of the top eight. I don't think anyone above me pulled me up. I think that was just me. Oh, no, I played you. Sorry. Yes. But you... You probably pulled me up. Uh, I was seventh. Did you, you, you were seventh, right? And Justin Clinton was Brian. fourth. I was five. I don't remember who was third. I could look at the list. I don't care to. Oh, that's probably RJ, Carl, and Stefan. Stefan was first. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe Clayton got in there? Yeah, Clayton was there. He was fourth. Right. He was fourth. Yeah. yeah. I was four, uh, he was fourth. I, I know was me five. and Rob were at least seventh and eighth. Yep. I forget who was six. Who's there? Who's there? Frida was six. So Stefan, RJ, Kyle, Clayton, Clayton Frenchy, Joe. Sorry, Joe Frida first, then Joe B. Wait, who was sixth? Joe Frida. Joe Frida. You were seventh, and then Robert Hayde was eight. That was nine. When did you play again? Who? Uh, the uh, Robert. Down. Uh, n- uh, Thundercracker, Nemesis, yes. Flame Boy. Yeah. Clayton was down about spot then. Okay. If you want their list, you go ask them. I don't give out lists without their permission. <laughs> so I just, by the way, I just don't do that. That's not that's not me. With the origins coming up, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> so well, origins is not. Well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So that was actually, I'd say, the last tournament without uh, playing with sideboard. Depends. Yeah. Depends if you know what. It depends on what's at stake. Yeah. If I'm playing at the weekly. I'm not going to care a sideboard. I just I just don't care. If it's a real event with real things going on, like the qualifying event, I'll sideboard. But I'm not sideboarding on my weekly. I just... I... So you never had like a game... I did. A card. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball? Yeah. yeah that's right. What about you, Brian? <laughs> my only other CCG <laughs> has been Destiny, and that's it. Okay. So, no. So, how... How, do, how much do you think the game is going to be different when you will be sideboarding? Find out at Origins. Well, I won't find out. I'll see what happens. For most of my games I play, like I, I am squeaking into Origins. Um, for most of the time I play, I'm not going to worry about it. So for Origins and then for um, Packs Unplugged, that's when I'll probably, a few weeks beforehand, start to figure it out. Like I'm trying to figure out now how I might use it. I've got some ideas for origins, um, but for for weekly events, and even if I don't know, there's like a uh, actually no event. qualifier, so maybe Just I may have to then. think about it. I'm interested in the main board, not the sideboard. The characters. I want to know what deck is going to be able to just slot in one character and completely screw up the opponent's entire game. Like if there's a team that's like, oh, I could just swap out for Nemesis and throw in Optimus, BL, and it's like, uh, crap. Now what do I do? The deck is completely different. And I'm not. I can't. I can't deal with that. I agree with that. And I, actually, I think this is a huge problem. It is a huge problem, and um, and whoever cracks that that team combination breakup first is going to do really well. Yeah, that's playing with the sideboard and the fact that you can actually bring another <coughs> character and ten cards. Ten cards is the quad of your deck. Remember that it is a quad of your deck. In MTG, uh, it's also a quad of your deck. Right, but you shouldn't <laughs> be bringing ten cards. It should, be, it should be cards that are based on matchups, not like, I need 10 to beat all the decks. It should be like, 3 to deal with Bugs, 3 to deal with Superion, 4 to deal with another deck. You have to, you, you better mix it up. If you have one different thing, it's not going to... I think it's possible. I, I think there's probably a way, and we're going to see it. I mean, I'm right. not for, uh, like, I haven't played enough to know exactly if there's like uh, a deck that is going to be transformable. From hey, transformable. <laughs> from uh, yeah, inverted. Everyone should have one inverted in their side. <coughs> Surprise! Now the deck's different. 
Like, crap, dude. I just played for all of it. So someone's going to take out like all their bashing shields against orange. Like, hey, here's inverted. Now you got no bashing shields. Oh, yeah. Bashing shell for spell stuff is going to like really change the game a lot. Uh, I think that it's a whole different game. Like playing actually with cyborg and playing with best of one, two different games. So, I mean, I'm thinking about, what is it, enemy combat analysis no. or whatever it is. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> what? What? Okay, apparently, shh. enemy combat analysis. Shut up, I'm saying it! Top secret wreck and rule tech that... <laughs> Me and Kyle were just having so much fun with that uh, on, on member testing. Because it's like, if you, if you go against Combiner, and you're a Combiner team, slot one in. Ooh, 30. <laughs> yeah, maybe two. Two is a bit excessive. Calm plus down. two attack and then plus two defense. I don't know, Calm guys, down. because like Calm before down. before this, people are going to like talk about photon bomb and everything, and right. that's going to suck. For or, and like, when you combine other, superior, it's just pure race, so it doesn't matter anymore. Other common um, star levels like ten stars. There's a bunch of things at ten stars that people run. Hmm. Sure. I'll the wait very, to see what happens in our origin. The very first us. thing I will going to see if I can switch out is actually World Jack uh, Demolisher plus three mounted missile. That's going to be fun. <laughs> There's so much. It's the <coughs> game is going to be very different with the cyborg. That's why for the guys that plays MTG Arena, uh, going best of three in draft or best of one, that's actually the same thing for me. It's like there's so much differences between playing a best of one game, best of three games. We have like cyborg. Like if you're going up against a whole bunch of tough and tough things, swap in Warpath. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. That's actually pretty neat. Warpath was inverted. It's like now what? what and this, folks, I don't know what Brian is doing. I apologize. I'm checking out like the size relation of the figures. <laughs> God. People at home. People at bigger than anyone people else. At work. Not those at home. of you, those of you that like the figures. So this is the like Generation Springer. This is the MMC Spartan third party figure. Like they are sized really well. I think Springer should be a little bit beefier than this. I'm hoping that Siege Springer is the same height and not shorter like the other figures are. Um, Springer's a little bit beefier, dude. Like he's a little bit like leaner here. Well, did you just go off on this tangent? What's happening? You asked what I was doing. I didn't ask for you a gave me I didn't opening. ask for a dissertation. You gave me an opening. You know I'm going to take it. Put down like, below in the comments if you guys want to see Brian do some reviews of toys. Oh, Overlord is pretty good, right? I think maybe a little bit taller would be better. <laughs> roughly. I'm done, Joe. That's it. Hey, Joe, you want to show what you got behind here? No, I'm not going to take that down. Oh, you can just turn the camera gotta, like you did. You they showed your stupid the, face. I don't Show know that. if anyone's seen it yet. Look so, at that thing. <laughs> Joe is going on an insane combiner. <laughs> <laughs> like a binge fest. Get your baby <laughs> devastator out here. Oh, God. Is that all you want them to say? No. Like, yeah, the whole and then thing. The whole I give thing. them the next layer down. Oh, my God. So G2 Superion, Victorion. Brian's just so excited right now, folks. Go down. Go down. G2 Menasaur, G1 Menasaur, Optimus Maximus. The white Optimus Maximus is apparently hard to get. Joe probably was played. hard to get. Was hard to get. <laughs> uh, Volcanicus and the G2 Bruticus. Volcanicus a little bit like Scrawny too. I don't know. I gotta beef that dude up. Yeah, I'll look for the beef. Uh, Leo Kaiser, Leo Kaiser, however you want to say it. And Abominus. My, one of my favorites, Abominus. Those feet. I put them in reverse order. Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> Get the like, third party feet. <clears throat> Computron and what's that guy's name? Sky Rain. Who's, where is it coming from? What is that? What? That blue. That blue that's is how good camera. it is. It's the halo about him. <laughs> <laughs> Sky Rain. <laughs> it's the blue from the camera. Force field. Oh, what about the blue? Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. How about the best combiner of all? As far as the camera is going to go. Can oh you catch God. it? I can't can, zoom can in. You get to see that? Can you zoom in? I hold? No. I'm going <laughs> to zoom on this. Try to. Joe, what is that? Star scream. And four more star screams. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain your process for how you nope. know what about doing it? No. Nope. <laughs> Saw four golden lagoons, bought four golden lagoons. <laughs> so we know there's like a lot of channel that is re those review. But uh, yeah, just put on the just put on in the comments uh, if you guys want to see if you, Joe. If you know what's wrong with Joe, 
<laughs> if you want to see Joe and Brian do some stuff for that, I actually wanted to, want, would like to see that. So, yeah. Yep, that was it. <laughs> I hate you, Joe. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for hearing our. That went well a lot longer than we thought it would. What? <laughs> What's happening? Goodbye. Just goodbye. <laughs>